Hello everyone. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing amazing. We're out taking a little stroll this morning. It's about nine o'clock. I love starting our day this way because it seems Mama, like we have so much more energy. This is my favorite truck. I know you like trucks like that. It seems like we have so much more energy and we're so much happier through the day. So Mama, that one, I definitely that one and that one you're at the side. Uh huh. Yeah. I definitely excuse y'all. I mean, excuse me. You know, banana. But yeah, I definitely feel like when we do this. We just have an overall better day, you know? So anyways, what brings me to the camera today? Today, I am making a video on how to keep your relationship spicy and how to keep your man close to you. This video was requested of me um, about five or six months ago. I don't know, it's been a while, but I'm so sorry, love. She knows who she is. And this video is for her and I just want to make a little disclaimer I am by no means a relationship expert okay um, and most of the tips that I'm gonna give are for myself more than anyone trust me I'll be looking back on this video when I'm slipping up like hold on hold on what did I say okay and if you don't think that I have good advice to give then don't watch this video but <laughs> Like I said, this video was requested. I just wanted to put that out there because by no That's means am I coming. Thing. It's huge and it's a lot of shade. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. We're walking around the neighborhood. But, um, yeah, I'm not making this video to try to say I know better than anybody or Mom, I have the perfect relationship. Oh, yeah, it's really unique, huh? It's a, it's just a queen. It's a yep. And um, I, I have been, I am in a long-term relationship, so um, it's not like I'm single oh. trying to give relationship advice. But anywho, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. But moving on from that, um, oh, okay, so the first few tips that I'm going to give on this matter are just like practical, everyday tips that I'm pretty sure anybody would be comfortable implementing. Yeah, go ahead and fix it, love. But the second set of tips are kind of witchy tips. And if you're not down with putting an extra influence on someone or, you know, something like that, then I guess you can skip over that last part. But I just want to put that out there. <laughs> so my first tip is to always embrace your femininity and always be respectful of your man. And what I mean by embracing your femininity, a, a lot of a lot of us American women, we do have masculine tendencies, and a lot of those tendencies. That is my favorite truck. I know we aren't even aware of unless someone points it out to us. Mommy, and we forgot to put one right there. I could have sworn I told him I was going to make a video. I know Keegan, <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, we have a lot of masculine tendencies and a lot of them we're not even aware of until someone points them out to us. So be, embracing your femininity and always being respectful of your man, it kind of goes hand in hand, you know, don't use aggression to get what you want. Um, just be graceful and use your use your feminine powers and your sexuality to be persuasive and to make communicating extremely effective because it does work i noticed that in my particular situation um i get a lot more with sugar than salt <laughs> i'll just say that so it does take a little bit of practice Especially, you know, considering your background, if you came from a single parent household, then it'll, you'll, you'll really have to be conscious of, of yourself and what you're doing and things like that. That also goes hand in hand with kind of, you know, let, trusting your man to take the lead and, 
you know, just being flexible. And I and I say, uh huh. No, we're just walking. We didn't go the wrong way. I know where home is. And and I know some of you are like, what? That's so that doesn't even make sense. How's that gonna keep your relationship spicy? But <clears throat> a lot of times relationships fail because men feel like they're not being treated the best and they feel like the woman won't let them lead and that's a whole nother video and a whole nother I don't even want to go branch off too far in that because I'll be talking for a long time on that but just embrace your femininity okay speak to your man in a nice calm tone don't be condescending don't put them down don't call him a bitch oh my goodness y'all so many of my friends call their man bitches and I don't get that I just don't me and my me and my significant other talk about this all the time I'm like I don't get it that's like the highest form of disrespect to me don't call your man a bitch you know what I'm saying don't be disrespectful treat him how you will want him to treat you and <clears throat> When you treat him well, you're really leading by example. Now, if, you, if you're treating him like gold and he just treating you like shit, now you know you don't need to be with him. You know, let's be mature. Y'all know what I mean by that, okay? On to the next tip. Um, keep it interesting and, and, and be unpredictable and, and be adventurous. You know, take interest in the things that he likes and just be open to trying new things you know what i'm saying do something different together go on a hike just do something neither of you ever would have expected to do you know what i'm saying go to incredible pizza or dave and busters whatever that little stuff go kart all that you can just do just spice it up just keep your relationship get out break out of that routine <laughs> what Woo. I want to apologize in advance if this video is all over the place. And I appreciate those that are going to stick with me. Because I really do have some amazing tips to share. But it's just going to be like kind of all over the place. I saw that, baby. That was really cool. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, it was Oh. Oh. So, yeah. Break out of that routine. If you're used to doing the same thing every day, if you and your man are in a routine of the things that y'all do when y'all hang out, switch it up. Switch it up and do something different. Also, that goes, that's not just for dating. That's also in the bedroom, you know? Switch it up, ladies. Get a yoni egg, okay? Get a yoni egg that will keep you together. Okay, I may need to even make a separate video on yoni eggs. Get a yoni egg. That will make your intimate life very amazing. I'll just say that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, switch it up. What, baby? Nope, not today. Um, my next tip... Cause like y'all, I'm doing this off the dome. I had thought of a bunch of stuff I was gonna say, but now that I'm walking and recording, it's like none of that stuff is coming to me anymore. And I'm just trying to think as I'm walking and eating this banana, y'all. I just kind of want to get into my witchy tips. Like I can't even think about my practical tips anymore because I'm so focused on my witchy tips. <laughs> so let me just now. If you're in a relationship. And it seems like y'all are, you and your man are drifting apart. And what, baby? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, there are different type of spells you can do to ensure that your man stays interested in you. But I want to say something about that. <laughs> You know whether your relationship is over and if you're just going through a rough patch and you just need a little bit of extra oomph, okay? You know that. Now, I'm not saying put a little spell on your man if he's already told you he don't want to be with you and he's already got another woman and all that because there, I mean, karma comes with that. And sometimes if the universe 
is moving someone away from you or, or, or distancing, distancing you from a person is sometimes necessary. You know whether you play a role in the problem or not. And what I mean by that is I'm saying like if you if you're if you've tried all you can and you're doing all you can and he's still not coming around and he's unresponsive, you may just need to just leave that alone. But you know, if they're still hoping your relationship and you just need that extra push, there are love spells that you can do. Um, you can bind your man to you. Huh? Yeah, it's nice, huh? You can bind your man to you. I know that, yeah. What? Yeah. Um, and there are certain type of seasonings that you can put in food. I mean, y'all, it gets deep, okay? I just want to put that out there. Now, if you want to know more, you can ask me. I'm not going to be telling you what to do and all that because everybody may not want to know that. But I'm just letting you know that there are some things that you can do. As simple as seasonings in his food and what? Okay, yeah, just keep walking. It's, it's getting a bit windy. We got to keep moving. There are things that you can do. Um, seasonings in his food and like I said, binding spell. You can do a love spell. It's different things now. If you're interested and you're, and you're interested, please message me. Like, we can talk. Let's talk. But I just want to put that out there, okay? Be feminine, use your feminine power. We're so powerful. <laughs> tap into those powers and use them to your advantage. Like when, when I tapped into my feminine powers, y'all, I mean, like, it is when I tapped into my feminine powers, let's just say that when, when you're a woman and you're confident, I mean, shit just is gonna go your way. We'll just, I'm just going to put it out there very simple. But, oh yeah, what's my second tip? Spice it up. Break out of their routine, whether it's a dating routine, a sex routine. Break out of their routines. Okay? Um, And then into my witchy ways. I'm just doing like a little, just trying to make sure I covered all bases, y'all. I bet when I turn this camera off, something gonna come to my mind. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and post this because it's just a real raw video. It is what it is. I hope this helps someone. <clears throat> wow, that lighting got a thousand times better. Whoa. But yeah, I hope this helps someone. Hey, baby. Hey. I'm about to spend some time with him because he's been trying to get my attention the whole video, and I feel so bad because I've had to like shoo him away. But yeah, about to enjoy this walk with my son and enjoy my day. Y'all do the same. Hope these tips were clear. If not, let me know. Girl, this video sucked. Re-record it and I will. Okay, bye. Love y'all.